video is sponsored by Milkit. The company Milkit said it is awesome experiment kit with lots of stuff. Let's take a look. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Oreo drink mix. Oh, it comes with measuring cups. Oh, goggles, I'm gonna put these on. I really like goggles. Check out the size of this flask. It's huge. There's a lot of different things you could do with milk besides drinking it. Today, I'm gonna mess with my milk. You too can mess with your milk at home. Ooh, this is cool. Now do I look like a milk scientist? Check out all these cool experiments. Milk fizz, I'm excited to do that one. Easy ice cream. These all look like fun, but I think I'm gonna do the milk fizz first. First we're gonna pour about two inches of milk into our dish. Ooh. That looks so good. I love milk, it's so delicious. Mm. Don't tell my parents, I sometimes sip from the milk jug. I'm gonna put some red and blue in my milk now and swirl it around. Oh. I don't need a Q-tip, this is too thin. Next we're gonna add a little bit of baking soda to the top. I think we can do a little bit more for a better reaction. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna put some vinegar in here and see what happens. Well that's interesting. Whoa, it's coming up. Whoa, look at it, it's so foamy. Whoa, it's like coming off the edge but it's not going down. Look, you can still kind of see the bluish stripes. Check out the layers. That was pretty cool, but now we're gonna use a different bottle to see if we can get it to shoot up a little higher. We added baking soda, now we're gonna add the vinegar. Oh, it's coming up. Oh. Oh. Good thing we have a pan under this. Almost at the top. There we go. Look at the layers, that looks really cool. Oh, wow, it's like really light green in the middle. The next one's gonna be super cool because we're making magic milk plastic. First, we're gonna eat up one cup of milk. Barely enough left. Feels really warm. Looks like Owen wants to make some stuff. Do you want to make some milk plastic, Owen? Looks like he does. Now we're gonna add four tablespoons of vinegar, which is about a quarter cup. Whoa. It's starting to curd. We're just gonna add a little bit more vinegar to see if we can get a little bit more curd to form. I know it looks gross, but this is gonna be really cool to work with. We're gonna stir this up and get even more curd. It smells kind of interesting. Ooh, there's a lot. Now we're gonna strain it. Looks like cottage cheese. We're gonna scoop it onto a paper towel to try to get some more moisture out. Whoa. Whoa, this feels really cool. It feels like soft, spongy clay. I'm gonna put it on my prep surface. It's so cool. Now I'm gonna put gloves on because my hands are gonna be getting dirty now. Cause I have to mix the food coloring in with our dough. The color I chose is blue. I'm just 
couple drops. Whoa. I'm gonna add one more drop. Or two. We're gonna get a little bit more moisture out because it's still kind of wet. We're gonna pat it down with the paper towel. That moisture. Okay, I'm gonna try to ball all this up so I can get more moisture out of it. This is interesting. I like the texture of it. Like kind of chunky. It kind of feels like bread dough. I think I'm gonna do the star. I'm gonna take this off and put it in the top so it could be a little bit thicker. We're gonna let this dry for two or three days. If you wanna make it into a charm or hang it anywhere, just poke it with a toothpick right on the top. It's been about two days, now we're gonna check on our star. Take this off. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I can't believe this is made out of milk. It's so cool. That plastic was really cool, and now it's time to do the milk swirl. First step, we're gonna add a little bit of milk to a tray. It's not filling in. That's weird. I guess the pan's not perfectly flat. It just sealed. Okay, now we're gonna choose some colors. I think I'm gonna do this color. Yellow, blue. I'm gonna pick four colors. Green and red. Okay, now we're gonna add these and however we want to, kind of, just a couple drops. I'm gonna make a little square. Some blue right here. Whoa, the blue is spreading out in the milk. You can see under right there how there's a little bit of green under the milk, but like the milk covered it. It's really hard to see though. Whoa. Got a different green to use. Perfect. Whoa, look at the yellow. That's so cool. It's like it's already doing stuff. Better hurry and add the darn dish soap. I gotta put my goggles on before this color explosion. Here comes all the magic. We're gonna get our toothpick or a Q-tip, and we're just gonna get a little bit of the soap on it. Put on the very, very, very end. And then we're gonna put it right in the middle. And look at that! That is so amazing! Wow! Whoa, look at that color! Like a secondary explosion. That was amazing. Whoa, look at that. Wow, this looks so cool. I'm gonna add a little bit yeah. more to the green right here. Whoa. It's still like erupting right there. That looks so cool. I can't believe it's still going. Let's get that green in there. That was really cool. I'm gonna do it one more time. This one's gonna look super awesome, and I chose red, green, and blue for the colors. Add the milk now. I'm gonna start with red. Uh-oh. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> looks like a red flower. We'll do blue in this corner. Now I'm gonna dot it with the green. I think I can do green right here also. Now I'm gonna soap it. Ooh, that's interesting. The red is erupting. Now I'm gonna swirl it. I'm gonna kind of mix the colors into each other now. Okay, we're doing this one more time. Right in the middle. Whoa! That looks so cool. Oh my gosh, you can see the pan. Look at that. The color's like, whoa. That was so cool. Now we're gonna swirl it. Whoa. 
Whoa, I can do it more. Whoa, that looks so cool. Check out youtube.com slash milk it for some more awesome milk experiments and comment down below which one you're gonna try. This toothpick must still have some soap on it. Now I'm really messing with my milk. Thanks for watching and thanks to Milk It for sponsoring this video.